Louise, the cop used to locking up crooks and being faced with difficult situations on the beat. But Sean McArdle is now tackling something that would scare the toughest of men, going into battle against a banking giant. How's the biggest bank in Australia? Gonna make it right. It's a certain type of bloke who musters the kind of courage to take on one of our biggest and richest banks. If we all cowered away, if we don't stand up, don't kid yourself, I know what I'm doing. I know this is an impossible task. Sean McArdle is a police officer, a father, and a man gloving up for the fight of his life. Hey, let's face it, you can't get in the ring with Mike Tyson and not expect to get tagged every now and then. The Commonwealth Bank is suing Sean and his wife Paula in the federal courts. And a person appears at the door dressed as an electrical contractor, asks my son to go and get his mother. And when my wife appeared at the door, he's handed over the papers saying, you've been served. The CBA is demanding immediate payment of their investment home loan, over $1.2 million. We don't just lose money, I lose my son's inheritance, I lose the security in my wife's mind that we had when we were financially secure. There's something else you should know about Sean. He is a lead litigant, or in plain English, one of the main faces of a class action, where over 600 investors are taking banks, including the Commonwealth Bank, to court after the infamous collapse of Storm Financial, tore out the hearts and ruined the retirement of so many hard-working Australians. I have, unfortunately, become that public face of this matter. Suing him a tactic, Sean says, which is deliberately intimidating. We're the bank. We're going to go after you, Mr McArdle. We're going to crush you like a bug if you continue this action and insist on exposing our dirty laundry in court, you will pay the consequences. And it's a warning, not just to me, it's a warning to all other Australians who find themselves in situations where they're in conflict with their bank. And a person who has such strength in his convictions that he's prepared to take those convictions to the nth degree and to risk everything in terms of his quest for justice. Lawyer Stuart Levitt is representing Storm clients in the class action. He sees the cross-claim by the CBA against Sean and his family as a tactical move. It's effectively a shot against the bow to warn people of the course and to let them know that if you take us on, we'll squash you. You have other things to worry about, like looking after yourselves and your families. But Sean refuses to back down to what he calls bank bullying. Here, he's addressing another packed RSL room full of mums, dads and grandparents also fighting for their financial lives. This has been going on for four years. The toll on you all personally is immeasurable. Can the Commonwealth Bank intimidate me into backing away from what's right? Not a chance in hell. After the collapse of investment company Storm Financial, the CBA froze loan accounts, giving many victims a reprieve from making their loan repayments. It was supposed to be an act of kindness. Now, three years on, the father claims the Commonwealth Bank has turned on him, calling in his debt without warning, and his debt specifically. I'm the one out of all those hundreds of people who have been targeted by the bank with a cross claim. Sean wants a royal commission into the banking industry. In the meantime, legal threats or not, he's adamant he'll continue making waves. I like surfing and I'm going to continue to make as many waves as I possibly can. And if one day I find myself on a calm mill pond, giddy up, I'll enjoy that then. And the CBA denies the allegations made by Mr McArdle and is defending the claim as he has alleged that he does not have to repay his loans. CBA has lodged a cross-claim to protect its legal position. And you can read the bank statement in full. It's at our website.